Thank you, Coach. Next pick to finish third in the league is the University of Charleston. The Golden Eagles welcome back seven starters on a defense that gave up just 19 points a game last year. On offense, Charleston will be led by one of the more dynamic players in the league and John Knox, who just might line up on any given play at any position other than offensive line when the Golden Eagles have the ball. Please welcome in his fourth year at Charleston, head coach Pat Kirkland. Thank you, Reed, and uh, thank you to the media for coming out. Uh, the support that you give the Mountain East and uh, all the universities and colleges up here is tremendous, and we appreciate that. Um, looking forward to getting our, our second season in the Mountain East underway. Uh, very encouraged. You know, one thing I've learned uh, probably going into my fourth season as a head coach here is that, you know, you, you win with good people. And um, I think we've got a really good senior class with, with great leadership. Um, they've taken a lot of pride and ownership in the program, which is exciting as a, as a head football coach. Um, we've got some things we've got to work on. A year ago, we lost some games that um, I thought we were in a position uh, to win, and um, we just didn't finish. And it's something we put a big emphasis on in the offseason. Um, obviously, breaking down both sides of the ball and, and in the kicking game, you know, offensively, um, the strength of our offense is we have all five of our offensive of linemen returning. And, um, I think they're a good group. It's led by Justin Johnson, who was an all-conference uh, tackle force. Um, Kyle Revis, our center, and Juwan Arnold, our other tackle, kind of anchor that offensive front. And you know, I think last year we finished second in the conference in rushing. Um, we needed to be a much more balanced attack on that side of the ball. And um, obviously, you know, we always had some injuries at quarterback. John Knox did a tremendous job, and and, and is probably one of the best athletes I've ever been around. Um, uh, he, he needs to be in a position where we can get him in space. And I think we did a nice job in the offseason of getting some quarterbacks that can compete and maybe do what we want them to do pre-snap and decide where to go with the football. And, you know, we've got to be able to throw it on first down and, and be much more of a balanced attack. And I think we've got those guys in our program now um, that I'm excited about where we got the opportunity to put John at receiver a little bit more where I think he's uh, just a dynamic threat out there. So I'm encouraged about the progress we've made on that side of the ball. Uh, but on defense, you, you know, looking at that, that's where the, the strength of our football team is. Uh, you know, we have really seven slash eight returners, uh, really our front seven. You know, we have two all-conference players coming back up front, Demetrius Reddick, um, Rockford Stone coming back. Uh, we have a guy, we had a red shirt last year um, that I'm excited to, stay, to get on the field um, and, and see what he can do. Um, all three of the linebacker core is back. Um, two of those guys were all conference players. Uh, we lost Matt Kelly, who kind of split time last year, had a lot of injuries. Um, and really in the back end on defense, uh, I think you know, you know we brought in some guys mid-year that I think will be able to contribute. Um, and the thing with this conference is it's, it's such a competitive conference. You know, every week, like Coach Shell was talking about, was you got to be ready to play. Uh, you know, there's used to be had teams here and there. Now everybody is really, you know, it's, it's an evil level playing field. And uh, the preparation that you encourage with your kids from day one, you know, so you just can't cram on Friday. You've got to approach it, you know, like you're in a class Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and make sure you prepare and, and as a coach and, and as a player. And I think we've got that mentality now. Um, I think the, the players have bought into what we're doing. Um, really, uh, you know, you, we've got to have a starting point. You know, that's what preseason polls are, but that's about it. Um, you know, like everybody up here, they'll tell you the first thing that's probably the most important is something we didn't do last year is you got to stay healthy. And you hope to create some depth during camp, uh, which I think we'll do. Uh, but we can't afford not to you know, get it out of first gear. We, you know, we start with a conference opponent, Wesson, who I think is just a, probably is one of the best players in their quarterback in the conference. And uh, we've got to, you know, start preparing immediately and make sure that, uh, you know, we're ready to go. And I think we will. Um, last year, I had to replace four coaches. I'm, I'm excited to say, you know, this year we're all back. Uh, so I'm, we're doing more preparing than we are coaching up the coaches to coach. And uh, I think that's extremely important for us. But I'm excited, encouraged to, to get things rolling next week and to start the season. But I uh, want to wish everybody the best of luck. And uh, thanks again to the media for coming out.